Many of my favorite products to review are those sent to me by request, and today is no exception to that. In this big box right here, I've got what's supposed to be a revolutionary, brand new type of broom. That's today's video. It's called Swapped. First thing I gotta do right here is crack this open. I don't know why I used that bad southern accent. I grew up in the south though. I did have a southern accent when I was a kid, but totally unnecessary. I shouldn't have done that. But I digress. Let's get this thing open and see what's in there. Now Swapped is supposed to be a type of cleaning system that has a handle that can be attached to multiple different heads like a broom or a mop so you only need one handle uh, that's supposedly how it's gonna work I mean I haven't really looked too closely at it. I just want to order it and, and try it out so let me crack this thing open and see what's inside it's very strangely packaged there's like a, a hinge in the middle I'm not sure if that's on purpose or if it happened during shipping but there's a lot of tape there so I'm guessing that it actually happened on purpose oh here we go and next out of the box, looks like my handle with my receipt stuck to it. Oh, Bailey's very curious, but what do you smell, Bailey? If this is poisonous, I'm hoping she'll alert me. All right, safety inspector right here. Is it safe, Bailey? She's wagging her tail, so I think that means it's safe. This is the 60 inch premium handle, which was nine bucks. It's a pretty, uh, pretty sturdy handle. So far I've got the angle broom, which was 10 bucks, and the push broom, which was 13 bucks. I still got more in here. Oh, we got the corn broom, the old school. This was uh, nine bucks. Wow, that is a deep box. That just keeps going, and there's something stuck right in the middle. I had to extract it out of the center of the box. This is a smooth surface flexible duster. We've got all these attachments and a handle for 70 bucks. I think that's the key right there because you can use this in any of these attachments. The instructions are simple. Cut the zip tie or move the hanger, snap it in place. Easy enough. It's pretty simple. It feels pretty sturdy too. Well this, this particular combination feels quite sturdy. The handle is more geared toward the, this bigger outdoor broom attachment and something indoors. It feels sturdy. The handle doesn't twist. I kind of like that. No twisting handle. That's a good thing. I don't feel like normal use is going to knock this out of there. It's like you just snap it in like this. That was, that was pretty easy. Now this, now the handle feels too big for this particular attachment. but they both feel like they work pretty well together. I don't feel like this is going anywhere. That's a good thing. I mean, yeah, it's a broom. What I like about that so far is that it, I didn't feel like anything was very expensive. You know, I was, I was afraid they were gonna charge $30 for the broom part and $80 for the handle. It's not so bad, really. I've got a few more to try inside, but so far my first impression is pretty good. The fact that she walked away means that she approves. That's how I interpret it at least. So indoors we've got this duster that supposedly bends, let's see this, like that. Attach it to the handle, we're good to go. Very simple, very easy. <laughs> oh, I did pick up a lot of dust, some fell. Yeah, some fell, but we'll sweep that up. Seems like it's working pretty well. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, oh, I need to try a ceiling fan. That's. <laughs> All right, so the duster did pretty well. Let me switch attachments here and sweep up all the dust. Now I've got the angled indoor outdoor broom attachment here. This one's a lot smaller than the other ones. Here we go. Well, as with everything else, it feels like a standard broom. I can't say there's anything spectacular about it. 
but there's nothing bad about it either. It's very sturdy, it's not twisting. When you do this with a cheap handle, that would come right off. Not so much here. No twisties. I guess I've got one more attachment to try before I wrap this thing up. Hey, look, the cameraman's getting on the action. The cameraman's sweeping. The cameraman's returned. We have a real world situation here. Brian's actually using it. Oh, you're gonna put the mess right there, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be in the corner. That's a good spot for it. Thank you. And finally, got the old school mop here. Let's try it out. If you get a mop like this, make sure you have a bucket that can wring it out. That would not be good. Like everything else, it works exactly like I expected it to. It works quite pretty well and detaches very easily. Speaking of detaching, I got something else to show you. Now you can hang them just like that. Even though they said to discard these, you could potentially use them. I'm not sure if they recommend this, but I put it back in there. I'm not sure if that really adds any value to the hanging aspect of it, but it is an option if you don't want to waste these. All right, well, this is a nice short video. Let's take a look at some pros and cons and wrap this thing up. As far as the pros goes, there's a lot of pros that I do like. I like the fact that they took a basic, simple idea, which is a broom or a mop, and they changed one feature to make it a little bit more convenient, and that is the fact that you can switch the handles out pretty easily. I also like the fact that it seems very well made. Uh, when you shake the handle around, it doesn't come off like a lot of those twist type attachments. Those have never worked very well. This works so much better. I bought quite a few attachments and a handle. I think it was 70 bucks. So it's quite a bit of stuff. So I think that the price is, is right on point. The only real con to me is that the handle choices, you have 60 and 48 inches. The 60 incher, when you put it on the end of a corn broom, it's like seven feet tall but you need a longer handle for the push broom so you, you might need two handles no matter what which defeats the purpose just a little bit you'll also need two handles when you have a broom and a dustpan unless you have a separate dustpan with its own handle but I, i'm nitpicking i really think this is a good idea i think it's well conceived i think it's well priced i think the swap cleaning system works pretty well and as usual they have no idea who i am they have no idea this video is coming out so if you order from them just tell them that I say hello. Well, that's going to be it. A nice short video today. I might have a few questions at the end. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. How about a few more questions? This one asks, while you seem to try to be positive during your reviews, I'm sure you've reviewed your share of poor products. Have you ever filmed a product review and disliked it so much you chose not to post it? If so, why? The answer to that question goes back to my kind of love-hate relationship with inventors. On one hand, I'm kind of on, on the side of the small guy, the inventor that that we need to, to innovate and, and put out new products. But on the other hand, there's a lot of inventors out there that are a little bit delusional. They're so convinced that their product is, is the most useful, perfect invention ever that they can't take any criticism whatsoever. So I've received some items from inventors I tried to like, I tried to review, and a few of them I just had to shelve. I'm not gonna say which ones. But there's been a pretty few bad inventions I've come across that I, I actually feel bad for the inventor because I know they mean well, but not good. Hannah wants to know, where did you get your white couch from? I've been dying to get one. I purchased that a few years ago. Actually, it's a futon. I got that from the Bed Bath & Beyond website when my cousin came to visit. And guess what? It's not a very good, comfortable futon to sleep on. In fact, my cousin has been back since then. I wonder if that's the reason why. Uh, but I checked the website. I don't see it anymore. So I don't think it's, a, it's, it's sold it at this point. Probably because it's so uncomfortable. Joseph King asked, which product review were you most hyped for and then most let down by afterwards. Are there any products you wish were made better so you would actually use them? I mean, there's, there's a lot I could, I could answer, but I would say the first one that comes to mind would be the cop cam, because when I first heard about that one, I thought it seemed like a really good idea. This kind of mini camera you could put anywhere, but not only is the video quality bad, not only is the audio quality bad, the motion detection barely works, the battery life is awful. You really can't see where you're aiming at. There's a, there's a lot of things about it that I would fix, and it would be cool if I could fix those things. Amanda says, I tried your link for the Hercules hose, but not available on Amazon. Any alternatives that you like? The Hercules hose and the metal garden hose were virtually identical. I would say go with the metal garden hose. I've updated that description so it doesn't link anywhere anymore, but if you get the metal garden hose, 
I couldn't even tell the difference. I had to actually look at the printing on the hose to see which one was which because they were so similar. This person asks, how many countries have your videos been watched? I actually had to export a report on YouTube and look at it. It shows 197 countries of the lifetime of my channel. So that's, that's quite a bit, I guess. And finally, Adam wants to know, how do you personally deal with all the negativity from people that claim you don't do certain things right or that you are trying to copy someone else that already reviewed something? That's actually a very good question. As far as the first part, when people say you're not doing anything right, well, everybody's a, everybody's a critic, right? I never claim that everything I do is 100% right. I use these products like a regular guy and a regular guy doesn't have 100% accuracy. I try, I read the instructions, I do my best. There's also different ways of doing things and sometimes someone says you're doing something wrong when that's the way you've done it your whole life. Now, as far as the idea of copying goes, that's something that I've encountered quite a bit uh, on both sides of people said I've been copied, some people say I'm copying. But when you're reviewing stuff, there's two reasons why that could happen. Number one, when I first started, all I did was ask on TV products and there was other channels doing that. so. Just because one channel does it first doesn't mean another channel is doing the same thing as copying. We are all doing similar products. So those of us who, who focus on weird gadgets and SEO and TV products are gonna encounter a lot of the same things. Just because someone puts it out first doesn't mean they're copying the others. The other possibility that happens is you have a viewer that watches multiple channels. They might see one channel do a cool gadget and then suggest that you do it. And you're not aware the other channel did it. So then once you put out your video, people say, oh, so-and-so just did that one last week or two years ago or, whatever it might be. So you have to be a little lenient. I don't think there's a lot of copying going on. There is some, there is some, but I'm not going to say what, but there is some copying going on. But I do think the vast majority of that is just coincidence because a lot of channels have similar content. But that's all I've got today, guys. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh, I'll be back in a few more days with the next video. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.